What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in or out in HitFilm Express. So here we are in HitFilm Express, and this is the clip I have. It's me doing the lightning effect, which I showed in Premiere Pro earlier on this week. Now the first thing you need to do is right click your clip, and then come to Make Composite Shot. From here, just make sure it's labeled to what you want it to be, and select OK. Now, where our video is, you're going to select this arrow, then you're going to select transform. Now from here, you're gonna see scale. Now this is what we're gonna be using, and we're also going to be using some keyframes. So enable the keyframe by selecting this button here, and as you'll see, it will have a blue dot, and also a dot will appear here, or a diamond. This diamond is a keyframe. Now, what we're going to do first of all is zooming in. So you come across however long you want to for this zoom in to take place. So you can see up here as I'm going across this time is also going up. So we're currently at 2 seconds, however I'm going to keep going all the way up to 6 seconds, right here. Now what I'm going to be doing where it says scale, I'm going to left click and drag this up. And as you'll see we are zooming in. And just like that two keyframes are being created. The first one which is us at the normal scale and the second one which we just done is zooming in so now if i play this through from the beginning you can see the video will slowly zoom in once we get to this point right here that is where it's going to stop and stay now we can make the zoom a lot smoother very simply so this last keyframe where we created the zoom if you right click it come to temporal interpolation as you'll see it's currently set to linear which is more of a sharp zoom we can have it set to smooth so if I select that, there will be a very slight difference in terms of the motion. So you can see, just like that, it's more of a smoother zoom. You can tell right there it did look a lot smoother. Now let's say you wanted to zoom into a specific place. So that means we would need to also toggle the position if you're not just going to go straight into the middle. So we're going to toggle the animation on position, and right at the start it's going to stay at zero. But we're going to come to the keyframe where we are zoomed in, which is right here. Now, all we're going to be doing is moving the position about to where we actually want the main focus to be. Now, in my case, of course, I want the focus to be on this lightning effect. So I've positioned it to where it's in between my hands. So once again, the very first keyframe is back to normal. I will play it through. As you'll see, as we're zooming in, it's also focusing on that position we have just selected. So that's how you zoom in. Now getting onto the zooming out part. So if you haven't guessed it yet, it should be self-explanatory. We're going to be doing the exact same thing in the opposite direction. So first of all, we're going to be zooming in. So once again, the animations are toggled on scale and position. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm then going to use the position to bring it down to my hands, which is going to be here. Then I'm going to come across again to six seconds. And this time we're going to reset this back to normal. So the way you do that, just change it to zero, change this to zero. And then for the scale, you change that to 100. And now it's back to normal. So if I play this through from the beginning, this is now creating a zoom out effect. Really simple to do, as you can see. And once again, it was quite sharp, so we can change this to look smoother. So left click and drag out to highlight these, and right click, come to interpolation, then you can change it to smooth. Now if I play this through, you can see once it gets to the keyframes, it's going to be a lot more smoother this time. Just like that, it just settles back into the normal position. But that is how simple it is to zoom in or zoom out in HitFilm Express.